It's the largest building the Army's built since 1943. This is about one third the size of the Pentagon. It's the largest single project the Corps built since the Pentagon. And it's one that will ultimately impact us all. Extremely important in terms of security of the American public. The client is uh, the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, and they are an agency that uh, conducts reconnaissance and intelligence analysis for uh, things around the world. Products that are used by politicians, other intelligence agencies, all of our military services. From the very tactical, lowest level of action to the very highest level of strategic consideration. There's more computing power being put into this campus uh, than I've seen in my career. It's just phenomenal what is going in here. A project of this magnitude takes manpower. More than 1,500 people work here each day on this $1.7 billion project. It's going to be the home for about 8,500 employees. They're coming from a variety of sites within the National Capital Region and being consolidated to this one location. It's designed to meet the Green Building Council's LEED Silver Standard. The greener facilities are cheaper to operate over the life cycle and they are better uh, for our own people who populate those facilities. People who will benefit from a variety of green technologies. This is one of uh, two green roofs on the project. This is over the uh, tunnel into the main office building. Inside, there's a chilled beam heating and cooling system. And uh, results in an energy savings of about 30% over a conventional HVAC system. A project like this wouldn't be successful without strong collaboration. We've had a very good partnership with NGA, with all the contractors working here. 2.4 million square feet of federal office space will be complete in September of 2011. Mary Cochran, Springfield, Virginia.